your heart pray. Dear gracious Father, we bless you and we glorify you. We call you the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. <laughs> we worship you because you're good, because you're kind, because you're merciful. You are Yahweh, the beginning and the end, the eternal God, a wonder in our soul, and we bless your name. We worship you right now for who you are. Lord, we worship you because Lord, you are both the lamb that was slain, the blood that was shed, and the eternal father of all. Lord, you do more than sit high. You also, Del our God, have made earth your footstool. There's nobody like you, God. And so we worship you tonight. We come and have gathered ourselves, Lord, first to lift you up on high, high above the earth. Mm. We call you matchless, faithful. We call you everlasting father, prince of peace, counselor. Lord, you called us the jewel of your scepter. But we now crown you, dear Lord God, with the diadem, dear Lord God, there is nobody like you. Lord, we call you by your covenant name, for there's no other name in this generation whereby we must be saved. We call you Jesus. 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 The God of our salvation. The one true eternal God, Jesus. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we worship you because you are omnipresent everywhere at the same time. You are all wise, omniscient God. You know all things. There is nothing outside of your perusal, dear Lord God, because you see all. Dear Lord God, you made all things for you, by you, dear Lord God, and without you there was nothing made. You are the hand that stretched forth, God, that caused those things that are not as though they were. And Lord, we worship you tonight. We praise you because you're good. We praise you because you're kind. We praise you, dear Lord God, for giving us life, health, and strength. We praise you for allowing us to be born to this generation. We praise you, God, for having a reasonable portion of health. And we praise you, God, for allowing us to know you. We praise you, Lord, for giving us a revelation of who you are. We praise you, God for standing up in the midst of darkness, God, and calling us out and making us your royal, dear Lord God, priesthood. Lord, we praise you for wrapping yourself in flesh and dwelling among us. And we beheld you as the only begotten of the Father, Lord. We just praise you right now for every miracle that you show, God. We praise you for every step you took while on earth, while on flesh, dear Lord God, in flesh. But Lord, most of all, we thank you for dying for our sins. We thank you, dear Lord God, for getting up the third day. We thank you for having all power in your hand. We thank you, dear Lord God, for giving us the Holy Spirit, whereby now we know that you are real. We know that you are with us. You said you would never leave us nor forsake us. And now we know by the power of the Holy Spirit that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, we just praise you for holding our families together. We praise you, dear Lord God. For every good and perfect gift comes from you. And dear Lord God, we praise you for giving us a mind that want to worship you, a mind that want to be saved, a mind that want to lift you up. We praise you for giving us a mind that want to walk right, a mind that want to talk right. We praise you for giving us a mind that wants to bow its knees to you. We thank you for giving us a mind, dear Lord God, and an eye that looks unto the hills from which cometh our help. For all of our help comes from you. And dear Lord God, we just praise you right now. The Lord God, we praise you, the Lord God, because we see your handiwork even in the midst of a dire situation. We see your handiwork in the earth realm. The Lord God, we know that you are real. And so, Lord, we praise the only true and real God, Jesus. Mm, glory. The Lord God, we bless you right now. Lord, we come before you recognizing that we as sheep have fallen astray. 
We come asking that you would forgive us of our sins, cleanse us of our unrighteousness. The Lord God, bring us back in right standing with you. We intercede, we intercede, we intercede right now, God. We intercede for your people. We intercede, dear Lord God, for those who have fallen away. We intercede, God. Now take the hot coal, dear Lord God. Touch our mouth. Make us clean once again. Mm, glory. Dear Lord God, we take off our shoes for this is holy ground. We bow down before you, Lord. And we say, we are undone. And we dwell amongst the people that are undone. So dear Lord God, cleanse us now. Purge us with hyssop so that we might be clean. Wash us and we'll be white as snow. Don't hold back, dear Lord God, any of your grace. Don't give us justice. Give us grace. Don't give us wrath. Give us grace. Give us mercy. Dear Lord God, give us truth and mercy, dear Lord God. Cause us to love your precepts. Cause us to love your testimonies. Cause us to declare your testimonies. Cause us to lean, dear Lord God, into your word. Cause us to hide your word in our heart so that we wouldn't sin against you, God. Clean our hands, God, for we've touched the unclean thing. Cleanse our eyes, God, we've seen the unclean thing. Cleanse our mouth, God, we've said the wrong thing. Cleanse our feet, God, we've gone the wrong way. Cleanse our heart, God, we have wished for the wrong thing. Clean our clean our agendas, God, for we have longed for the wrong thing right now. I come asking to our God in the congregation of the saints that you would just cleanse us. Heal our land, God. We pray for this world first, God. To our God, you said that in the last days there'll be wars and rumors of wars. We heard you loud and clear, to our God, that this earth would have to pass away and a new earth would have to come. We simply ask that you give your people more time, God. Give this world a little more time, God. Dear Lord God, even as we beckon for you to come, dear Lord God, we're perplexed in the complexity, dear Lord God, of the Great Commission and dear Lord God, desiring to be up out of here. And we say, Lord, for the sake of this world, give it a little more time. Have mercy on America, God. You see the violence in our streets. Forgive us, God. You see the violence in the land, forgive us, God. Dear Lord God, you see the debauchery and the lack of justice, forgive us, God. You see the murders increasing, forgive us, God. You see every lascivious deed increasing, dear Lord God, and policymakers are making it into law, forgive us, God. Forgive us for killing the unborn, forgive us, God. Forgive us for having unbalanced scales, forgive us, God. Forgive us, God, for wanting to, Lord God, riches and fame and not to be caring to the poor. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, God, for forsaking you in the assembly, dear Lord God, of the public square. Forgive us for taking crosses off of city halls. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, God, for declaring, to our God, a binding of prayer in, dear Lord God, schools and in public places. Dear Lord God, forgive us. Forgive us. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Wash us, make us clean. Forgive us as Christians for not speaking up. Forgive us as Christians for standing by idly. Forgive us, O oh God, for co-signing with the unclean thing. Forgive us, O oh God, for making ourselves more political than we were king. Kingship, dear Lord God, forgive us for, dear Lord God, having us lean into our ethnicities, dear Lord God, and this delusion of race, rather than trusting in you, the author and finisher of our faith, the God who out of one blood brought many nations, dear Lord God, forgive us. Forgive us for not praying for our leaders. Forgive us for not being peaceably with all men. Forgive us for not loving people despite where they come from. Dear Lord God, we ask that you would cleanse our hands. Heal our nation, God. Dear Lord God, there are toppling cities. There's loot and fires everywhere. But now, dear Lord God, set a flame in our hearts as never before as the children of God but we know that we have to be clean first. So now, dear our God, we just ask that you would wash us up. Wash us up, dear our God, make us whole. We realize that before we even ask for anything, dear our God, of material need, we must ask you first, dear our God, make this place holy ground again. 
Cause your tabernacle to come back, God. Cause your presence to come back, though I got among your people. So much division in our world, God. I come asking that you would bring us whole again, to our God, to show miracles again, send revival again, God, send winds of refreshing again, God. No, I got you did it before and do it again. To our God, just as you set flame in the Azusa Street meetings, to our God, do it again the way you did it on the day of Pentecost, the way you bound your children together under persecution, under Nimrod, to our God, Nero. We come. I'm asking the Lord God that you would cause us to be bound together. Oh God, now we pray for our leaders. We pray for President Trump, God. We ask the Lord God that she would have your heart in this time. We ask, dear Lord God, you said that the heart of the king is in your hand. So, dear Lord God, clean anything that needs to be cleaned. Turn around anything that needs to be turned around. Cause his mind to be straight, dear Lord God. Cause him to get orders from you. We ask that you would cover him right now. Cover that whole cabinet. Dear Lord God, bless Nancy Pelosi, God. Sanctify her, dear Lord God, as the speaker of this house. The Lord God, turn heart where it needs to be turned. Cleanse the heart where it needs to be turned. The Lord God, in the name of Jesus. The Lord God, put a hedge of protection around her in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bless the Lord God, Mitch McConnell. The Lord God, cause him to have an eye like an eagle. Cause him, the Lord God, to speak truth and no lie. The Lord God, we ask that you would stand up strong in our Senate, in our Congress, in our Supreme Court, in all of the judicial systems of this land, in all of the criminal justice areas of this land, in all of the magistrates of this land. The Lord God, have your way. Bless them in New York, God, where violence is on the rise. Bless them in Chicago, where violence is on the rise. Bless in San Francisco. Bless in Seattle. Bless in Miami. Bless in Texas, God. Bless in Atlanta. Bless in Los Angeles. And Lord, bless Fresno County right now. Come ask and tell our God that you would push up against every principality and power. Every ruler of darkness of this age, dear Lord God, every spiritual wickedness in high places, we declare right now, come down, open up the winds of glory, pour out a blessing on your people, God, as never before. Dear Lord God, we come asking that you would send a whirlwind of strength throughout the land, dear Lord God, tornadoes of blessing, dear Lord God, throughout the land. And now, dear Lord God, we pray specifically against this plague. Oh, we know that you're the God that can allow the Lord God and maneuver in the plague. We saw what you did in Noah's day. We saw what you did in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. We saw what you did in the days of Egypt. We saw what happened to the Babylonians. We saw what happened to the Assyrians, God. And we saw what happened to Nineveh. But dear Lord God, have mercy on your people now. Too hard for us, God. Too much for us, God. Too heavy for us, God. Hundreds of thousands of people are dying, God. Oh, Lord, we have trusted in science. Forgive us, God. We've trusted in chariots. Forgive us, God. We now trust in you. We believe that all wisdom comes from you, God. So cause us, dear Lord God, to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Cause us, dear Lord God, to walk in a way, dear Lord God, that we would be up under the hand of the Almighty. We come praying, dear Lord God, for those who have been impacted by coronavirus. We pray for every lost life, every family of the lost life. We pray, dear Lord God, that you would uphold them right now. We pray for the Lou Wright family that has been directly impacted by COVID-19. We come asking, dear Lord God, that you heal in the family. Oh God, heal in the family. Open up the lungs, dear Lord God. Cause, dear Lord God, all the symptoms to begin to dissipate. We pray for the Arnold family right now that has been directly impacted by COVID-19. We come asking, dear Lord God, that you will clear up the symptoms, clear up the virus, hold them out now, dear Lord God. Hold them up under your hand. Cover them with your free spirit in your name. Dear Lord God, we hear them crying, dear Lord God, out crying out for mercy, crying out for help. But you said you would be our Jehovah, 
Rofe, in the name of Jesus. You said that when we would look at the serpent, that we would be healed. To Lord God, you are the brass serpent of the desert, God. The serpent, to Lord God, the God that put on the sins of, of the world and took upon our heaviness. You are the God that can handle our grief. You are the God that can handle depression. You are the God that can handle anxiety. You are the God that can handle suicide. You are the God that can handle confusion. You are the God that can handle misdirection. You are the God that can handle cancer. You are the God that can handle diabetes. You are the God that can handle high blood pressure. You are the God that can handle all plagues. And dear Lord God, we pray for healing right now. Physical healing, emotional healing, mental healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we ask to our God that you would purge out the unclean thing. Oh God, the schools are opening up. We pray for our children, God. The most helpless among us. We pray for infants right now. We pray for those who are living in poverty right now. Dear Lord God, without enough food, without enough care, be their God. Be the God of Lazarus now. The God, dear Lord God, who lifted up Lazarus, dear Lord God. And even when the dogs would lick his wounds, you would be his God. You said you would be a lily in the valley. So now, dear Lord God, be the God, dear Lord God, of the helpless. Bless our young. Bless our young, dear Lord God, as never before. Cause the learning gap to decrease. Cause us, dear Lord God, to be able to educate our children even in a downturn economy, downturn in education. I ask, dear Lord God, that you would still rise up, dear Lord God. Teach our children to read. Teach our children to write. Teach our children, dear Lord God, math and science and all of the special domains that they need. Cause them to excel in the name of Jesus. Dear Lord God, we pray, dear Lord God, for our youth. You see our youth straying away. Many of them have never heard your name before, and that's our fault, God. Forgive us for not raising our children in the admonition of holiness. Forgive us, God, for not witnessing. Forgive us, God, for not being more bold. Forgive us for not being more boisterous. But dear Lord God, keep our young people. They're dying in the streets, dying by the thousands, God. There's a slaughter taking place in the land. Dear Lord God, you showed us in the scripture how the enemy always came for the firstborn, always came for the man child, always came for the children. So now, dear Lord God, lift up a standard against them right now as you promised that you would. You said when the enemy would come in like a flood, you would lift up a standard against him. So God, lift up right now any demon that desires to have our young people count him as dead, plucked up by the root two times in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We pray for men all over this land. We pray for men in the church. Dear Lord God, we've been discouraged, but dear Lord God, raise us up. Cause us to have visions again for our families, visions again for our communities. Cause us to have face like Flint to our God, where we would be able to stand up against any amount of persecution. Call us to be godly men. And to our God, right now, we pray against addictions on our men. We pray against all manner of addictions on our men, alcohol addictions off of our men. To our God, he loosened drugs off of our men. Dear Lord God, marijuana addictions off of our men. Oh, dear Lord God, crack cocaine. Dear Lord God, powder cocaine. Dear Lord God, painkillers. Dear Lord God, drugs that are sniffed. Dear Lord God, over the counter pharmaceuticals. Dear Lord God, we pray for deliverance in our land. Dear Lord God, they have made policy and they have made legal. Dear Lord God, what you have called a curse. So now, dear Lord God, as never before, we ask that you would turn the situation around. Break the curse of addiction off of men who claim to know you. We ask, dear Lord God, that you would rise up in them, give them their families back. We believe that you can give them their families back, God. We believe, dear Lord God, you did it for me, do it for them. Turn, dear Lord God, addiction around in the name of Jesus. We pray for women all over this land. We pray for women in the Fresno area. We pray for women in the church. We come asking the Lord God that you would, the Lord God, take the burden off of their shoulders. 
even if many of them have been prayer warriors. Dear Lord God, we come asking that you would hold them up with an outstretched hand. Take, dear Lord God, discouragement off of them. Cause anxiety to dissipate. Cause depression to dissipate. Dear Lord God, lift up our women. We declare that they're virtuous women and our men are men of valor in the name of Jesus. Bless those who are married, God. Bless our marriages. Hold them together. Bless those who are widows, God. Hold them. Hold them together. Bless those who are single, God. Hold them. Hold them together. Bless single mothers and single fathers, God. Hold them. Hold them together. Bless children that are in foster care. Hold them and hold them together. Now, God, we pray for unity in the church. We pray the same prayer that the apostles prayed. Lord, we pray for boldness of spirit and unity of heart. Forgive us for not seeking your word daily. Forgive us for not praying daily. Forgive us for not meditating to you daily. Forgive us, dear Lord God, for not holding you up. Dear Lord God, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. Dear Lord God, give us a desire and an appetite for your word as never before. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord God. We come asking, dear Lord God, that you would turn our hearts. Oh, God, turn turn our our hearts, Jesus. Many, there are many, there are many, there are many, there are many, dear Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Who have lost their longing, dear Lord God, for the house of God. They've lost their longing. We pray for pastors now. Pastors that have lost their longing. Pastors who have given up. Pastors who see the orders coming from the land and have given up. We pray, dear Lord God, if it be your will, turn their heart around. Oh, God, just ask that you would bless leaders in this land, spiritual leaders now, God, that you would raise them up as never before. We pray, dear Lord God, for a new passion for worship. Although, dear Lord God, for safety precautions and because of mandates, dear Lord God, the churches are closed, but they don't have to be closed in spirit. They can be open in spirit. And we pray, dear Lord God, that you would keep the church doors, the spiritual church doors open. Allow us to have koinonia, dear Lord God, amongst one another. Cause us, dear Lord God, to be in lockstep with one another. Cause our Zoom Bible studies to flourish. Cause, dear Lord God, our online services to flourish. But, dear Lord God, we ask that you would break the tide, dear Lord God, and allow us to come together in the congregation as we prepare to have life groups in person, as we prepare to social distance but get together. We ask that in every zone that's created that COVID-19 and other ailments would dissipate, put literally a dome over every life group that everyone that comes in, God, would be healed and made whole. Dear Lord God, we come asking that you would endorse the very works of your hand. We realize that your word is your will and your will is your word. So now, dear Lord God, we say, have your way. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We pray for the assembly of the saints. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray, Lord, that we will be the church that you called us to be. The dear Lord God, that we would reach those that you called us to reach. The Lord God, that we would touch those that you called us to touch. And now, God, I ask that you would make us rapture ready. Lord, even as you spoke out of one of our seniors who was crying for you to come, waiting for your coming, God. You said, dear Lord God, you're not slack concerning your promises. You made it very clear, dear Lord God that the righteous cell shall scarcely make it. So now, dear Lord God, I ask that you would give us holiness, give us righteousness, give us love. Give us love to be able to embrace people from every background, that your love would break down the walls that would keep them from you. That your love would break down the mindsets that need to be broken. That your love would break down the mentalities that need to be broken. 
Father God, we ask that we would be so connected with your heart that people would sense the anointing on our lives. Dear Lord God, and now as we go to do great exploits, we come asking, dear Lord God, for the same anointing oil, dear Lord God, that you gave your apostles so that when we lay hands on the sick that they would recover. Dear Lord God, that we would speak with new tongues. And dear Lord God, if we would drink anything poison, that it would not hurt us. We ask, dear Lord God, that your anointing would prevail. Dear Lord God, you said your anointing destroyed destroys the yoke. So now destroy the yoke off of this generation, dear Lord God, and let your manifest glory be prevailing now. We beckon and call for your blood. For you said when you see the blood, you will pass over. You said that you have given your son a name which is above every name. So now, dear Lord God, we declare openly, dear Lord God, that your blood prevail over Fresno, that your blood prevail over Fresno County, that your blood prevail over California, that your blood prevail over the United States of America and every nation that you have deemed, dear Lord God, your people. Break the walls of division, God. Break down racial divisions, God. Break down racial divisions that have been called, caused by years of racism, injustice, hurt. Break down the walls. Cause black people in this country to forgive. Give us a heart that forgives. Till I got healed white people in this nation. In the name of Jesus. Heal brown people, Latins in this nation. Native Americans in this nation. Asians in this nation. Polynesian in this nation. All backgrounds, Lord, calls us to be one nation under you. Lord, I know that this is what we ask for. I know that we have passed into law things that cause the very place we're in, but we as a church are asking you to turn your heart back to your people. You said if my people who are called by your name would humble themselves and pray, and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways that then you would hear from heaven. So God, we cry out, we cry aloud. God, turn your heart. Turn your heart back to your people. Turn your heart back, dear Lord God, to even those who don't love you. Dear Lord God, we ask that you would give them mercy. Don't give them justice. Lord, you already will have a white throne judgment. But dear Lord God, give them space to turn and believe. We pray, dear Lord God, for those who have been persecuted all over the world for the faith. We ask that you would break the hand of the oppressor in the name of Jesus. And now, God, we declare your blessings over our life. We, dear Lord God, declare that we're blessed when we go in and blessed when we go out, that we are blessed in the field and blessed in the city, that our barnyards and our fields are blessed, that our crops are blessed. Dear Lord God, and even as the economy is shutting down, let the economy of heaven open up and provide provision for your people. Dear Lord God, hold us with an outstretched hand. Dear Lord God, we do not seek want, we seek need. For you said you shall supply all of our need according to your riches and glory and that your hand is not slack concerning your promises. And you said we should look to the hills from which cometh our help. And dear Lord God, that the cattle on a thousand hills are yours. Dear Lord God, you are the God of the streets that are paved with gold. So there is no lack in you. Now, dear Lord God, cover your people. You said upon this rock, you would build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So we speak to our God for the church to arise. 
rise up out of the ashes. Rise up out of the debauchery. Rise up out of the waywardness. Rise up out of a backslidden state. Rise up in the name of Jesus. And we say that your people are free. I want everyone to take a moment right now and breathe in deep. Feel the winds of God. Take a moment now to meditate. He's speaking a word into your heart. He's breathing life into your situation. He's reminding you of his promises. He's healing you. He's setting you free. It's coming in. Provision is coming in. You're not giving up. He's picking up the bow down here. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. One more time, take a very deep breath. Thank you, Jesus. We declare that the enemy flees at the name of Jesus. Is Angie still on? Yes. I'd like to hear you just share a word, a brief word about the importance of prayer, just whatever the Lord has on your heart. How oh, that we just rise up and that we pray, we rise up one voice, one sound, one people 
that we would just begin to rise up and pray that we would seek him diligently, that no matter what time it is, we may have to wake up during the night. If he wakes us up, go ahead on and get out of bed and get on our knees and pray. Prayer changes people and people change things. Nothing mm. change without the presence and the anointing of God. The anointing destroys the yokes. Hallelujah. The anointing changes the hearts of people. It changes the minds. We have to pray. We have to seek his face. We cannot get tired. We have to stay on the wall. We have to stay on the wall. He is going to do what he said he's going to do, but we have to stay on the wall. We have to trust him through prayer by faith. And faith, we cannot see it, but he never told us that we would see it. He just said, follow him, walk by it, trust, believe in him, and pray and seek his face. Just rise up. He's calling us as a people to rise up. Not so much talk, but prayer, but prayer, prayer. Seek him in the morning, seek him in the evening, seek him in the midnight hours, seek him. A prayer constantly on our lips. No, we're not going around saying holler, holler, holler 24 hours, but constant prayer. When we think on him, when we meditate on him, he said, thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And we have to read the word along with prayer in order for it to become activated in our lives. We, we, we're not going to be able to activate it if we don't read it, if we don't meditate on it, if we don't learn it, if we don't let it become a part of us. It's just like blood running through our veins. It's just like the marrow that's running through our body. It's just like the breath of life, prayer. It is our lifeline now. It is our only hope. It is our prayer. It is our prayer life, our prayer. He says we got to seek him while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. We have to continue to pray and seek him diligently. Hallelujah. 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 I'd like to hear from Deacon Olakani if he's available. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Is Deacon Olakani on? Yes, uh, Pastor Amon. Um, I would like to say that um, this is a time of uh, this is a really difficult time in this world. And it is a time of unprecedented uncertainty. And it's a time that we need to go grow in God's words and grow in his might. Work for him. Do whatever we do we can do to work for him. He says, whoever works for God will never lack and will never suffer. Because he's, he's always going to be there with, 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 with us. I, my prayer tonight is that we are continue, that God will continue to bless each and every one of us. That He will be there for us in every way. He will guide us. He will lead us. He will be our leader. He will be our guidance. He will be our our our, our, no, our our light, our guiding light in this world. That whatever we we hope to do, whatever we look forward to, or forward to do, He will be there for us. It will lead us in the in, in, in the righteous part. It will continue to bless our families, bless our ways, bless the people of this world. And it will you know it will take away this pandemic that is plaguing the, the world. It will be there, it will guide us. It will always, it will not, it will never leave, leave us destitute. It will be our Lord, it will be our guidance. We will continue to be with us in, you know, in you know, for the rest of the days of our lives. Well, I want to pray for those people that have lost the, their loved ones. Mm. And God will continue to, continue to be with them. He will, he will minister to them. He will bless their lives. He will bless the, the, he will bless the ones that are left behind. And for us who are looking for, to God, we, I pray God that God will continue to, you know, to have his way in our lives. 
He will guide us when we go out. He will guide us when we come back in. He will be all that we want him to be in our lives. He will continue to use us for his glory. And his, his part and his ways will be, you know, will be established in our lives in Jesus' name. I thank God for all he has done. And I thank God for everyone that is on this prayer meeting tonight. And I pray that God will continue to minister into in your life. He will have his way in your life. And he will use you for his glory. I thank God for everything. And I pray that God will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. God bless you, Deacon. I, I would like to to hear from Alton Youngblood if he's available. Just my Yoroshia glory. Alton, can you unmute your mic? There you go. Yes. Hallelujah. During this time, the Lord has just been speaking to me and saying, this is the time. This is the time where he's calling us to his feet. And while we're at his feet, Hallelujah, that he's going to move and he's going to be bringing co-workers. He's going to be bringing family members to us when they can't get to the church house. And for us to be ready to give account on the reason why we believe what we believe. When they come with hopelessness, we still have a Jesus. This is the time when we hold on to what we know and believe it with all our heart and don't faint from it. This is why he's calling us to his feet like he is at this time. This is why he's waking some of us up in the middle of the night. Hallelujah, because he's going to bring people to you. He wants you to be that church, to be that voice crying in the wilderness. He wants you to be that person that can come to him when their family members are sick. You can call him. It's the name of Jesus. God, if he wants us to walk in his power and believe that he will do what he said he will do. There's no titles. There's no, no ups in him. He wants the lay member to be strong. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's why I hear the voice saying to me, this president. To God be the glory. There's a lot of, there's a lot of word Lady Ned is downstairs. She's she's so connected right now. I hear her. I hear the the cry coming from downstairs. Uh, she's in her prayer language right now. Mm. There's a lot of of sound coming out of glory and wanting to push through you all. I do want to hear from Tina. Tina, I want you to express just what's on your heart right now. And then I'll close out. What I want to happen is those of you who know that God has something for you to say immediately after this broadcast i want you to get right on your facebook post and i want you to do a facebook live immediately and we have to i see just a bombarding of airwaves like the system getting stuck because we begin to declare and pray at such a level it's a mandate from heaven on us. Sister Tina? Yes. When Brother Alton was speaking, the Spirit of the Lord was just confirming everything that he was saying. And I feel like the people are afraid to speak out. They're afraid of those people that are come, going to be coming to them. And the Lord says, don't be afraid. He says, I've put my word in you. I've put my word in you to share with them, to bring them to me. He says, don't be afraid. They're coming to you for a reason. And that reason is because I live inside of you. I need you to share me with them. 
یارو ما شندر یا ما شیگی یا ما شندر یا ما شندر یا ما شندر یا ما شیگی یا ما شندر یا ما شندر یا ما The world is so scared right now. The world is so scared and he wants us to reach out. He wants us to be his mouthpiece. He wants us to be his hands. Thank you, Jesus. Children of God, I'm asking that as we leave this space, that we wouldn't leave his presence. Oh, and I want everyone to say, I agree. I agree. Say, I agree. Come on, say, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. And everyone who has a word, because it was so much, I felt it in my spirit, there was so much. I don't want you to be afraid to speak right after we hang up. Get right on to your post. If you have to type it, type it. If you have to live stream it, live stream it. But you declare what comes on your mind. The moment you find yourself thinking, you know that that's not the spirit. Just flow from this space because there's something he wants to push out. And when he's done, let him be done. And you get rest. We declare healing over the Arnold's life. We declare healing over the young blood's life. We declare healing over the Lou Wright family life. We declare healing over the lives of his people. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen, amen, and amen.